There's a metric on the Apple Watch called VO2 max. This is the maximum amount of oxygen that you can use during physical activity. One benefit of VO2 max is potentially better sports performance, and a second one is longevity. So my friend Tejas and I went to a sports lab to see how accurate is it. We ran at different paces with a mask on our face, and as she crunched the numbers, we found that it was pretty similar. My VO2 max on the Apple Watch was 52 versus 49 on the lab, and Tejas was just about two to three off as well. I've noticed the data on my Apple Watch isn't perfect, but I do trust the trends over time. What metric do you want me to test on the Apple Watch next? 